Hello everyone! The title for our paper is Mapping and Classifying Business Models to Replace Single-Use Packaging in the Food and Beverage Industry, a Strategic Design Tool. This paper is based on a master's dissertation thesis conducted at Brunel University London in the Design Department. This paper was written by myself, Noah Mansour, as the first author, Fabrizio Kishin as a second author, David Harrison as a third author, and Yuan Long as the fourth author. So, let's start. The presence of packaging in the ocean represents a global system failure. The Ellen MacArthur Foundation estimates that with current consumption and disposal rates, that by 2050 there will be more plastics in the ocean than there is fish. Packaging is a major source of ocean pollution, an industry that is almost entirely single-use packaging. Food and beverages account for the biggest single-use packaging segments contributing to ocean plastics. Ocean plastics is causing physical and chemical contamination in the water that is ending up in our food chain, posing a risk to human health. As you can see in this diagram, the European waste hierarchy has set strategies such as prevention and reuse to be more effective in waste management than recycling and recovery. This indicates that current ocean cleanup measures cannot solve the problem as long as the consumption and disposal rates remain the same. It is therefore considered crucial to shift from single-use to reusable packaging systems and thus prevent plastics to be released in the environment at all. Previous studies reported that reusable packaging possesses greater advantages over single-use packaging if it is efficiently designed for this purpose. The more a reusable package is circulated, the higher the environmental benefit will be as it eliminates the need for new packaging and uses less resources. If the reuse system is continuously intensified, the business operators can reduce operation and disposal costs because they are economically encouraged to reuse and recycle more. However, there are limitations associated with reusable packaging, such as that the containers most often need to be collected, transported and washed between every trip. Environmental organizations such as RAP are setting targets to shift from single-use to reusable packaging and alternative delivery models. In this context, it is promising to look at the concept of product service systems, which is a result of an innovative strategy that shifts the center of the business design and sale of physical products only to systems offering products and services that are jointly capable of satisfying a given customer application. While there are emerging innovative product service systems that provide food and beverage reusable packaging systems, a comprehensive classification system remains missing. This paper aims at filling this knowledge gap by putting forward a classification system and by exploring how this can be used to support companies and practitioners in ideating reusable packaging systems. The assumption is that this classification system can provide support in understanding the wide variety of reusable packaging systems and enable decision-making and strategic design thinking. For the research methodology, three main research activities were conducted. First, to understand the different characteristics and variety of the business models, a diverse number of 21 case studies of existing and pilot case studies were collected and analyzed to identify their key characteristics. And you can see the business names on the right side of the screen. The key characteristics of the case studies that mostly describe the business models were extracted and analyzed. On the right side, you can see that the key selected characteristics are container ownership, delivery method, location, context of consumption, value proposition and payment structure, and environmental sustainability potential. The collected case studies were positioned on the system according to the characteristics of each case study. Case studies with similar characteristics were grouped in clusters. Each cluster defines a different business model of a product service system applied to reusable packaging. Each business model cluster we are calling an archetypal model. In total, there are 15 identified archetypal models. And later on, to test and validate the tool, a workshop with a total of 12 design students was conducted, and activities were structured to test both the ease of use and the usefulness of the tool. Finally, after collecting feedback from the participants, the classification system was developed further.
If we take a closer look at the classification, it is in the layout of a polarity diagram. It is color-coded and contains the key identified characteristics from the case studies analysis. The characteristics were laid out in a group of two. The first group was placed on the y-axis and it includes container ownership, value proposition and payment structure, and environmental sustainability potential. The second group was placed on the x-axis and it includes the location and the context of consumption. The container ownership index refers to who owns the container that the food and beverage is being delivered in, which can be owned by the provider, the business or the consumer. The provider is the main service provider company that offers the product service mix and it is color coded in green. The business is a company that is a client of the main service provider and acts as an intermediary between the consumer and the provider. The container can also be owned by the consumer, which can either be the end consumer or another consumers, like in business models based on sharing. The second index identifies four different types of value propositions that the end consumer pays for, which are paying to deliver, paying to fill a container with food and beverage according to the unit of consumption, such as weight, paying to use, such as in renting schemes or deposit return schemes, and finally, paying to own. These different value propositions can exist in both consumer-owned packaging systems and provider-owned or business-owned packaging systems. The location index refers to the location of the end user during purchase and consumption. Four main categories were detected, first at home, second in closed public environments such as offices, universities, hospitals, etc. Third at stores and fourth in open public environments, such as in streets and parks. The location index has a great impact on the context in which the food and beverage is consumed, affecting user behavior regarding use and disposal of the packaging, and thus will also affect collection. The context of the consumption index indicator can be on the go or on site. For example, stores and open public environments are mostly characterized with on the go and having unpredictable consumption habits and thus provides more challenging collection. While home and closed public environments are mostly characterized with on site consumption where the food is consumed at the same location of purchase. Since the context of consumption is related to the location, the on-site indicator is placed on the left side towards home and closed public environments, while on-the-go indicator is placed on the opposite side, so as to match the location index. The more public and open the location, the more on-the-go that the consumption habit will be and thus provides more challenging collection. The delivery method specifies how the food and beverage is delivered to the consumer. Three delivery methods were detected. First, automated machines, where the food is dispensed from machines such as vending machines. The second method was manual dispensers, where the consumer dispenses the desired amount manually and is often found in stores or at home. Third delivery method is through human distribution, which is operated by staff members. There is an identified total of 15 archetypal models of product service systems using reusable packaging in the food and beverage sector. The cases within each archetype are not exactly identical. However, their key characteristics such as the value proposition, context of use, container ownership, delivery method and location grouping are very similar. Cases that provide more than one business offer can be positioned in different places on the map. The identified models you can see on the left side of the screen and the summary of each model is included in the paper, while the detailed description of each can be found in the original study which this paper is based upon. Each archetypal model was illustrated using a stakeholder system map, showing the stakeholders involved in the system and their relations. As an example, if we take a look at the eighth archetypal model, titled as On-the-Go Container Subscription, we provide here a more detailed description of this model as a demonstration and its stakeholder system map. The provider offers reusable containers to businesses that provide on-the-go food and beverage to consumers in open public environments, such as coffee shops and streets. Consumers pay the intermediary business for the food and beverage and pays the provider for the container use. The business pays the provider a regular subscription fee for container use, while the provider maintains ownership of the containers. After consumption, consumers return the used containers to the business or drop-off locations set up by the provider. 
who then collects, washes and re-delivers the containers back to the business. And GoBox is a practical example of this archetypal model. The pilot study with 12 design students provided an initial validation of the potential applications of the classification system to support companies and designers by using it as a strategic design tool to get an understanding of the different reusable packaging systems and their characteristics, to shift from single-use packaging to reusable packaging systems and enter new markets. Users can also be startups who are looking to enter the market and position themselves to fill market gaps. Moreover, designers who are working with food and beverage packaging manufacturers or retailers can use it to inform their design and decision-making process. There are several potential applications of the tool. Reflecting on the testing workshop results, the classification system can be used to reposition existing offers into other parts of the map. This way, the user can generate new offers. For example, the company SodaStream, which is highlighted on the screen, is a company that sells soda-making machines to users to make their own soda drinks at home. The company can enter new markets, such as Offer A, which is placed in the provider-owned container section at home, and as you can see from the icon on Offer A, the beverage is delivered to consumers through manual human distribution. This indicates that SodaStream can offer a delivery and collection service of pre-filled company-owned containers to the users' homes. Or, they can offer delivery and collection service of pre-filled containers owned by SodaStream to consumers at offices, which is a closed public environment, and the consumer pays for the delivery and the beverage content. Or, as you can see, SodaStream can also offer automated machines on the streets which is an open public environment, while users pay to fill their own containers or to buy a container from the machine to be filled when desired. An alternative application of the tool is the generation of new concepts for reusable packaging systems. For example, concept one, which is highlighted on the screen, can indicate that stores can deliver food products to the consumer's home using manual dispensers in maybe a minivan and the consumers dispense the amount of food needed in their own containers and only pay to fill and deliver. Like a mobile supermarket that delivers to people's homes. Another idea of the highlighted concept 2 on the map is providing on-the-go meals in an open public environment, such as parks, where the consumer orders their ready-made meals and the provider delivers the food to consumers at the park in a provider-owned container the provide then collects the container once they are done with the meal. This research aimed at identifying and mapping existing reusable packaging alternatives to replace single-use food and beverage packaging, as well as exploring how a classification system can be used as a strategic design tool. 15 archetypal models of reusable packaging systems were identified. The pilot study provided an initial validation of the effectiveness of the classification system. It also provided promising indications about the ability of the classification system to support practitioners in understanding the variety of reusable packaging systems, perform market analysis by positioning existing competitors' offers to identify market opportunities to move away from single-use packaging, and in supporting the generation of new ideas for reusable packaging systems. All participants evaluated the classification system to be very useful in providing an overview of possibilities to help eliminate single-use packaging and in finding market gaps and supporting idea generation. There are further recommendations for the future development of the tool to be ready for publishing and use. Future testing recommendations involve using participants from companies and to develop a user guide while future research and development recommendations is to study the strengths and weaknesses of each archetypal model and include it for the users. Also, to provide a design guideline that guides the user as to how to develop a positively functional reusable packaging system in each of the found archetypal model. This will allow for a higher environmental impact as an outcome from the tool's use. On an end note, I'd like to remind you that the title for this paper is Mapping and Classifying Business Models to Replace Single-Use Packaging in the Food and Beverage Industry, a Strategic Design Tool. If further information is required, please find our contact details in our paper. Thank you for listening.